I'm going to tell you the story of Amos today. During the rule of Jeroboam II, Israel reached the peak of its glory. However, the prosperity was enjoyed only by the rich. The lives of vast majority of the poor were in misery. Heavy taxes and unfair interest on loans forced the poor to slavery. They were auctioned like animals in the slave market. The courts failed to execute justice and not even the religious system was helpful to the poor. The Lord is my shepherd, nothing indeed shall I want. Though I pass through the valley of death. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <sighs> 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 It's dead. The Lord is with me, I fear no harm. The Lord is with me, I fear no harm. Whew. It's so hot today. Amos! Amos! Huh? Who's that? Amos! It's me! Eliphaz! Eliphaz! My friend! Hi Amos! Eliphaz! Good to see you! I heard you're doing well with your business. Hmm... I'm doing alright. Where are you coming from? We are coming from India. We bought some ivory and precious stones from India. Ivory? May I see that? I'm sorry. We sold all of them at Samaria. We stopped there on our way back and sold everything. Those people in Samaria bought everything we had at the price we named. <laughs> hmm. They must be very rich in Samaria. Certainly they are. Those Sumerians, they don't know what to do with their wealth. And the women? Oh, their women are loaded with gold. Wow, they must be really rich. What? Who are they? Why are they tied in chains? Who? Oh, oh them. They are the slaves we bought from Samaria. Slaves? Yes, we bought them for a very cheap price from Samaria. And we are going to sell them in Egypt. We will get a good price for them. <laughs> Slaves? But how could they? God gave freedom to everyone. You, what's your name? Huh? Me? Yes, you. Tell me your name. I, my name is Zeta. Huh. And she's my wife, Miriam. Zira, how did you and your wife end up like this? Tell me, what happened? We, we are farmers from Jezreel. We are doing fine until last year when the crops failed. So? We couldn't pay the taxes, so borrowed some money from the landlord. But the next year, when we went to return the money, the landlord cheated us by saying that we had to pay double the amount in interest alone. Huh? How can the rich cheat poor farmers like that? That's not it, sir. They cheated people with the weights and measures also. What? Yes, sir. We had to give everything we had, but even that wasn't enough. They? They took our lands too. And then they took us to the slave market and and we were sold to them. We? We don't know what happened to our children. They? We don't know where they are. But, but how could someone do that to you? It's not just us, sir. Everybody here will have similar stories to tell you. I'm so sorry to hear that. Wait here. I will go and talk to your master. Amos, what are you doing there? I was talking to them. Talking to the slaves, huh? Eliphaz, 
Listen, my friend. Is it necessary that you sell them only in Egypt? We will sell them to anybody who can pay. Look, I have some gold and silver, and I also have these sheep and cattle. Can you take those and sell those people? Huh? So you are now interested in slave trading, huh? Slaves? They are my brothers. All right, calm down. I'll sell them to you. Two slaves for a cattle and one slave for a sheep. Is it a deal? It's a deal. I'll buy all of them. Here you are. Here, take these chains. No, I don't want the chains. I only want the people. Huh? But we won't be responsible if they run off. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Master, we don't know who you are, but we will always be grateful to you. What do you want us to do, Master? No. Don't call me that. I'm not your master. I'm an Israelite just like you. I am your brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stand up. Listen everybody. You are no longer a slave to everybody. You are free to go anywhere. I will give you my land for yours to work. You can take that for free. <laughs> <laughs> you are truly a great man. Amos freed the slaves he bought and he gave them his land. <laughs>